Hey there, econ students and teachers. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at market equilibrium and talk about things that can change market equilibrium and cause the price of a good to either rise or fall and the quantity to either increase or decrease. You'll get lots of practice with supply and demand graphs in this video, so sit back and enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel and head over to econclassroom.com for more great resources for economic students and teachers. In this video, we're going to look at how changes in demand or changes in supply or changes in both demand and supply can affect the equilibrium price and quantity of a good that prevails in a market. Now, rather than focusing on the factors that can actually lead to changes in demand and supply in this video, we're going to focus primarily on the impact that a change in demand, supply, or both demand and supply will have on the market equilibrium price and quantity in both the short run and in the long run following the change described. So let's start in our graph here in the upper left hand corner. What we want to do here is talk about a scenario in which the price and the quantity of the good in question can increase. Think about the changes in this market that would have to occur in order for us to achieve both the higher price, call that PE1, and a higher quantity, we'll call that QE1. In order for both price and quantity in the market to increase, the only change that can really cause that would be an increase in demand for the good. So an increase in demand for the good to D1 will cause both the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity to increase. What would happen in this market if the price had not increased? Well, if the price had remained at PE1, then we would have had a temporary shortage of the good in which at the new demand curve of D1, the quantity demanded exceeded the quantity supplied. Because this shortage would emerge at the original price of PE, the market will ultimately adjust to a higher price. And as it does so, the quantity supplied will increase and the quantity demanded will decrease until they achieve a new equilibrium where supply equals D1. In this way, the rising price of the good created by the shortage resulting from the increase in demand, we had a temporary shortage here in the short run, the increase in price leads to a new equilibrium in the market of QE1. Let's move on to our next scenario. What would cause a decrease in price and a decrease in quantity? Let's put a new PE1 here and a new QE1. What change in the market could cause a lower price and a lower quantity for the good? And the answer to that is a decrease in demand to D1. If demand decreases for this good, then in the short run there would be not a shortage of the good, Rather, there would be a surplus. If the price were to remain at the original equilibrium of PE, then the quantity demanded at the new demand curve of D1, here's our quantity demanded, would be less than the quantity supplied. We would have a surplus of this good. So in order to restore equilibrium in this market, the price must come down. And as it does so, the quantity demanded increases along the new D1 curve and the quantity supplied decreases along the original supply curve, achieving a new equilibrium in the long run of PE1 and QE1. So you should be getting an idea now of how markets adjust in the short run and in the long run to changes in the demand for the good. Let's move on to the third scenario. What could cause an increase in the price? Let's put a higher price up here of PE1, but a decrease in the quantity. In other words, we're going to have a smaller quantity of QE1. Let's draw dotted lines over and see if we can determine what could cause this change in the market. As you can see, what I've described here is a decrease in the quantity demanded of the good, which would be caused by a decrease in the good's supply to S1. If supply were to decrease, then in the short run at the original equilibrium, the original equilibrium of PE, we would have a shortage of the good. The price is too low. Quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded, which remains the same because the price hasn't changed in the short run. So how is this shortage? Remember, if the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied, we have a shortage. So how does this shortage get resolved and how do we achieve a new equilibrium? Well, the decrease in supply means the good is now more scarce. Scarcity means the price is going to rise. As the price rises, producers will be incentivized to produce a greater quantity and consumers will be incentivized to consume a smaller quantity until we achieve a new equilibrium where the S1 curve, this should be S1 here, 
is equal to the original demand curve. The market has reallocated resources due to the decrease in supply, resulting in a higher price, a smaller quantity demanded, and a new equilibrium at a lower quantity and a higher price. All right, let's now look at a scenario in which the price decreases, but the quantity increases. Let's put a new price here of PE1 and a higher quantity. And we'll determine what could cause this to happen in the market. A lower price corresponding with the higher quantity can only be caused by an increase in the goods supply. So if one of the determinants of supply changes causing supply for this good to increase, we're going to see, let's look at the impact that the increase in supply has in the short run. If the price had remained at PE, then the quantity demanded would remain at QE. So this is our new quantity demanded, while the quantity supplied would increase. We would have a new quantity supplied along the new supply curve of S1 that is much higher than our quantity demanded. We would have a surplus. So how does the market adjust in the long run to this surplus of the good? Well, the price has to fall. And as it does so, a signal is sent to buyers to demand a greater quantity of this good, and a signal is sent to producers to supply a smaller quantity of this good. And we achieve a new equilibrium at a lower price and a higher quantity, a higher equilibrium quantity. Here we go.